second on the far side, and Gabe Marks. Questions? Gunner, how did it feel to get back in the saddle at left tackle? Uh, it's been a while since I've played, and uh, it's been, it was fun. It was really fun out there. And uh, I have to use this week to get better with <coughs> my game, some, some things I messed up on and stuff. But uh, it was definitely fun, you know. I mean, I haven't played since redshirt sophomore year, so it's definitely different, but uh, it was a good time. Did was, you guys take a lot again to a rhythm on the offensive line with the new configuration? Uh, I mean, we I mean, got to give credit to Jake for stepping in at right guard and Eduardo bumping over for left guard. And, uh, you know, we just tried to you know, work close group of uh, guys. And all every offensive lineman that we have is pretty close. So uh, we just, you know, when something happens uh, and there's a shuffle or whatever, uh, we just have to play our game and stuff. And I think that, uh, I don't know if we started out slow or what, but uh, we definitely uh, need to improve the first quarter of our game and how we play against whoever we play. Okay, compared to the other teams you've played, how difficult is that pass rush? Oh, I mean, it's, they, uh, you know, give, give credit to, ASU for bringing a lot of different blitzes and stuff and mixing it up and trying to fool your eyes. But uh, if we play our game, we should be able to shut it down pretty well. And there's some a lot of room to get better. And I'm excited for that. I'm excited for this week. And it's not done at all right now. You know. Gabe, can you talk about what you've heard in that fourth and five? In that whistle? Just take just us through that down. play, the the fourth down, where uh, there was the all, all, I don't know. Like, I was running, and I was breaking the tackle or whatever, and then he, like, he didn't even blow it all. He, like, half blew his whistle. And I was like, dude, <laughs> <laughs> why? And he, was like, and he was like, I don't know. And then they talked about it. Did you say anything? Did Arizona State the defense say anything about that? No, everybody was kind of like, why did you do that? And because then, you weren't out of bounds yet. So. Yeah, but he didn't know. But he acknowledged that. He said, I don't know. Let's, let's leave those questions for Coach. Yeah. Has that ever, have you ever seen that happen and a team be able to replay it down like that? No. Oh, that did. Did, did you think the play was dead and then it kind of occurred to you that you hadn't heard a whistle? It seemed like there was a second where everyone sort of paused. And then yeah. you ran. Yeah. I didn't really get to the sticks, so it was kind of a bad play, so I'm happy that it, that it ended up like that and got to win the game. Because I kind of, kind of messed up. Did you talk to the play of... Uh, Kyle Sweet today um, broke out pretty big time today. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, he's a man. He came out there. He's he's as calm as anybody. He's kind of me and Dom. We've been there for for years, and he's just he's never rattled. You know what I mean? He knows where he's supposed to be. He catches the ball well. He doesn't drop balls, and uh, he does his job. So you know, any person that uh can do their job on a consistent level. In this offense is uh, going to play. So. How significant is it that you guys are bowl eligible with two games remaining in the year? Uh, I'm not, I don't think it's uh, very significant. I think we thought that we would <clears throat> we've been playing good enough to get to this point. You know, I think we're more focused on winning the next game and the games after that. And, and, uh, we don't want people to be satisfied just because we're bowl eligible. We, we're trying to you know, keep winning. How well is this team playing right now? Uh, I mean, we have a lot of room to get better. As you can see, you know, like when we're, we're not doing well, you know, we can be really bad. And when, we, when we're doing really good, we can be great. And so we just have to work on consistency and uh, building off of it and play. Start the game fast. You know, we can't come out and start slow. But uh, like, like you see sometimes, we have a chance to be the best team in the country. We just have to work every week to get better and just keep flowing. Because this offense, I mean, we can't stop it if we're doing our jobs. And, like Gabe said, you know, if someone comes in the offense and does their job, I mean, we're not going to stop it. And that's the reason why where we're at right now, we should, uh, you know, we should be doing better than we are right now. But uh, just got to take it one week at a time. Gun Gunner, as this team overcomes these obstacles, the, you know, 10 points against Oregon, 14 points today, do, do you feel the culture changing as it, as it, the team proves itself? Uh, each week, we're just trying to get better, you know. Just every, every single week, just trying to improve. And uh, just because you're down, you can't look at the scoreboard. And you look at the scoreboard and you start, oh, I'm 14 points down, all that stuff, and you're not going to be able to dig yourself out of it. You just got to play, play your kind of ball, and that's what we're trying to do. Guys, for a team like you guys, like last week, you were trailing the fourth quarter, you couldn't close it out. What, how significant it is, is it how well you played in the fourth quarter this week? The I fact that you scored 21 points in the fourth quarter, how significant is that for this team? I mean, we, we should have did it last week. I mean, I, we know that we can do it, so we don't really uh, 
get too deep into the emotional part of uh, why something's working or stuff like that. We just we figure we should be doing that every time, and uh, so we don't really think about it too much. We just think about the next play. One more for these two. <coughs> That's good. Thanks, guys. Thank you.